Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you, Sabalor? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Well, you with Nancy were the first ones. Very good. Very early. So how are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hello, good to see you. It's a pleasure to have you back here. No, it's a pleasure. So ready to our English class. Are you ready? Yes. Hello, Ultima. Yes, for this for this model, because the next one is going to be the second one. So it's yeah, and it's actually good, right? It's good to see you guys. Uh, what about your day? Como, como ha su día? Cuéntenme. Tell me about your day. Como ha estado? Um, bien, un poco tranquilo porque quiero unos personales, entonces pero me tocó enseñar, pero con más trabajo, pero se pasó más tranquilo. Eh, no es difícil. Eh, es muy trabajoso. Eso es. Pero, requiere, ah, ¿Requiere tiempo? Sí. Ok, that requires time. Yeah, ok. Somebody else who wants to tell me about your experience about this day. Uh, something that you would like to talk about. Algo que quisieran compartir. Something that you would like to share, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Good night. Hello, mister. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Excellent. I'm okay. Um, I, I got like a little cold, but I have taken medicine uh, because it's uh, sometimes, you know, very not comfortable to be like that. But I'm okay. Thanks, God. Uh, very good. Positive. And I have taken medicine. So that's why I'm not talking like, uh, I don't know, weird. So, but it's sometimes complicated. Así que, bueno, the most important is that we work at that, right? Así que, lo importante es que estamos bien. That we are okay, so we're just happy and also ready to learn, right? Okay, so, party. hello, welcome. Thanks, everything okay? Yeah, definitely it is. So it's, you know, it's an special day because, it's, well, it's the last date of this uh, level and then you move on to a different one, so it's good. Um, very positive and motivated. Um, that's something that we just need to get, right? M motivated. We, every day we learn something new. Okay. I'm excited too. Yeah, sure. Let's see what happens in the next model. Uh, uh, so if you continue, it's going to be good because it's the, the time is a very awesome investment right? because you can like work with that things and try to be very positive and motivated. That's what we love. Okay, muy bien, así que es un gusto. Miren, créanme que el tiempo pasa so fast que ya prácticamente ya avanzaron, ya avanzamos y yo pensé, yo solo vi que un minuto habíamos iniciado y ya, wow, so it's, that is actually incredible. But the time is actually going so fast, but all our process, our learning process actually go fast too. So that's uh, something important. Well, it's good to see you guys. We're going to have a short backup about this day, eh, about our previous class and also tenemos este día, hoy al final, nuestra encuesta de satisfacción que vamos a hacer a las 9.30 vamos a realizar todos esa encuesta de satisfacción, eh, vamos a poder accesar a esta encuesta y la vamos a poder hacer eh, de modo de pues que no que no tengamos ningún error y que no nos manden a hacerlo nuevamente así que por eso es importante que podamos seguir las indicaciones Recuerde que al final, cuando uh, hayamos hecho la prueba, todos juntos, eh, va a haber un momento en el cual tenemos que tomarle una captura a la...
por ejemplo, cuando nos aparezca como la confirmación de que hemos realizado la prueba y la vamos a enviar a nuestro grupo de WhatsApp con nuestro nombre completo. Así que eso es algo que vamos a hacer y que les voy a recordar uh, antes de las nueve. Así que iniciamos. We'll start. We'll start this day. And I would like to ask you guys what we started in the last class. What do you remember? What topic we socialized in the previous class? Because, you know, after weekend, you know, what's a good time? So uh, tell me, what do you remember? We started. Tell me a little bit about this experience. A ver, ¿qué estudiamos? ¿Qué se acuerda? Preposition of, of play. Okay, that was the topic. It was good. What else could you socialize about it? ¿Qué más podemos socializar? Employees information. Only that? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the English class. Well, good to see you here in the class today. Okay, great. Okay, let's go back because I saw you like a little quiet about asking you for the previous class. While we started in the last class, we discussed a question about uh, places. We socialized, uh, for example, something important. We asked partners where he or she works and what uh, the address is, right? We talk, we describe about the address. We talk where you work and what's the address for going there. That is the question that we were socializing in the last class. And this is the general instruction for this. So we just talk about that. We talk about uh, why we, you know, what's the name of the company and how can we get there? That's the question. Let's continue. We also, uh, we also learn uh, an ID and employees information. You had the opportunity to work in a ID, employees information. You write your name, what is the, the office or the main phone number. Most of you wrote a real information, so others wrote a invented information about a, the phone number. Like example, 72039164, with, we wrote the name of the workplace. We had an example about Aros Technology Company. A, also, we wrote the address of the company and the, your personal job positions, like a cashier, secretary, assistant, engineer, a technician, you know, a, a special agent, cashier. So we talk about different job positions. So you wrote about that. Escribimos acerca de eso. And uh, later we talk about departments. Hablamos un poquito acerca de lo que departamentos, production department, uh, uh, social security department, technical department, and also different kind of departments that you can talk about. Um, human resources department, accounting department. So we talk about that. And also we use a simulated ID because I mean, some of you don't have the ID. That is a especially unique uh, code used to recognize you between different employees in a company. Imagine that we have like, more than 500, 400, 300 employees in the company. O sea, identificarlo usted entre 300, 200 personas. Eh, con el ID es mucho más fácil identificarlo because they know that you're there. So, because there are some big companies that they give you a special number uh, to be recognized between a lot of employees in a company. Entonces, hicimos esto también. We did it. Y lo hicimos bastante bien. Me gustó bastante la dinámica. And later we wrote about uh, the following topic. Okay, 
uh, read the read again the employee's information and circle the uh, of the alternate directions. The best one, the best one was it is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurants and the book room. I just remember that some of you said that the best choice for the best address according to this was the number three. That was exactly it is, right? Así que íbamos muy bien con esto. And later we started the use of the prepositions of place. Preposition of place, where is the, the park located? It is located among many places. Now, where is the sport palace located? It is located on various streets in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. So we talk about preposition of places. Hablamos de que las posiciones in front, next to, across. We talk about that. Y hacíamos, eh, bueno, one second. I'm sorry. Okay, veamos acá in front of, behind, next to, between, above and under, over, below, in and on, right? Para referirnos a los, a los lugares. Me gustó esta parte porque cada uno de nosotros, me gustó esto, cada uno de nosotros comenzó a formular una oración acerca de, de, de cada uno de estos preposition of place according to a context. So I really like it because you could improvise uh, without using a dictionary, without using a translator, just did it. According to the context, the meaning of the word, you form a statement. That was actually valid because our English was spontaneous. Y luego pues veíamos un poquito acerca de completed conversations using preposition in the box, alone, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, and under. Y cabal, completamos el ejercicio muy bien, lo hicimos de una manera excelente. Así que eso también es algo que nosotros pues lo tenemos ahí presente. And just for concluding, we completed the, uh, the employee's information with our own information. In the previous one, we studied about someone, eh, about a guy, what, what was his name? Ah, eh, Mauricio Quintanilla, right? But after that, we did our own ones with our personal information. And then we work in the breakup rooms, and then we socialized with our own information and we share with the partners. O sea que eh, hicimos bastante práctica en cuanto al ejercicio, es, estuvo muy bueno because we produced the context, right? Eh, no necessarily has to be like 100% perfect, eh, pero sino más bien que usted ya comience como a formular estructuras. Ese es el objetivo y eso es como la ganancia, ir formulando estructuras that allow us to, you know, to be very specific with the grammar structure. So I really like it. Así que eso prácticamente fue lo que, lo que vimos. Eso hicimos en la clase. We started y pues ambos hicieron un buen trabajo. So you did a great job. Así que hoy va a ser mucho mejor, eh, va a ser mucho mejor nuestro trabajo porque hoy es como que más práctica. So, eh, no content, more practice. Lo que hemos estudiado durante este periodo, pues lo vamos a trabajar en este, esta semana, lo vamos a trabajar en estos ejercicios. It's going to be actually practical exercise here. Así que, bueno, well, vamos a pasar la lista, vamos a pasar, vamos a pasar la asistencia en este momento. Así que, eh, en este momento, get ready for this. Okay, your sister name, you say present. We're going to call you right now. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eh, Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present. Eh, Ever de Jesús Candray. Present teacher. Eh, Gilmar Cruz Mendez. Present. Eh, Ina Crisia Santos. Present. José Ángel Guardado. Present, teacher. Excellent. José Daniel Rivera. Present. Eh, Karen Lisette Mejibar. Karen Lisette, she's not available. 
Eh, Catherine Yamilet Espinosa. Present. Ok. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Ok. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez. Present. Eh, Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Eh, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present, teacher. Ok. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Ok. Yancy eh, Guadalupe Erazo. Present. Ok. That's ok. Very complete. Right. We're almost complete. We're missing one student. We're missing one student, but the rest, all of us right here. So that's good because we're almost complete. Así que muy bien. Felicidades que estemos todos acá. Eh, ya que estamos en este módulo 1, es, es la, la última clase del módulo 1, así que that's okay. Okay, we're going to start with, the, with the, the, the topic. It's not a topic, but it's the content. It's the video conference number 20. There is, there are, and adjectives to describe where places. That's the name of this one. It's addresses and places. For this, we're going to have a short backup about the previous activities, and this is going to be 100% practical class. Así que, pues, es para nosotros una clase práctica porque vamos a poner en práctica lo que hemos desarrollado. And also, eh, because this content is going to be different. So let's go with the next part right now. So we could say that we have um, we have no and we have told someone directions of where my workplace and someone else are located. So now we can say where we work, what's the address, and what things are around. Hemos podido lograr todo eso que hemos eh, que hemos realizado en las clases anteriores. Okay, we have the first activity. We have the first challenge. It says vocabulary practice. Write sentences about the places around your workplace. Use prepositions of place to describe their locations. Para eso, pues, vamos a trabajar en el siguiente ejercicio. We're going to write uh, sentences. We're going to write sentences ab about your uh, place. What is, the what is the translation? Dice que vamos a escribir oraciones acerca de los lugares que están alrededor de tu lugar de trabajo. Va a usar preposiciones de lugar para describir su ubicación. Por ejemplo, eh, there is a park in front, there is a parking lot in front of my company. O the, the company is in the corner of a a super, a super, for example, a supermarket, or the my company is behind, behind the stop bus, or the um, the company is behind. We can say a big building, or the library, or a bakery, or a church. Entonces, vamos a escribir eh, oraciones utilizando las preposiciones de, de place como next to, in front behind, across from, up, down, para describir los lugares que están alrededor de nuestro trabajo. This is what we had to do. For this, we need to write at least five statements that are eh, related to this. This is what we had to do. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Entonces, eso es, es algo importante. Por ejemplo, si me pregunta, hey, where do you work? Well, in this case, there is a, there is a community There is a community in front of the company where I work, or in the in next next to my my job, there is a gym. Junto a mi trabajo hay un gimnasio. There is a gym. Y ya formé una oración describiendo los lugares que están alrededor de mi trabajo. This is what we had to do. For this, we're going to have a couple of minutes to socialize the possible statements. And if you have any questions about what to do, how to formulate a sentence, you got the freedom to say, teacher William, 
eh, necesito que me ayuden, mire, creo que está buena esta oración, me la puede escribir, you can use the chat, or you can say the sentence, I listen to you, and I can help you to work with that, right? Así que iniciamos y comenzamos a trabajar en nuestras oraciones in this moment. Question. It's, is that clear? Está claro la, la indicación? Is that clear? Está clara. Yes, teacher. La... Yes. Yes. Okay. Perdón, ¿cómo la vamos a iniciar, teacher? Eh, usted la puede iniciar, por ejemplo, dependiendo. Usted puede decir, there is a, a park next to, next to the my company o next to the company o puede decir in front of in front of the company there is o sea usted puede comenzar con there is o there are o lo puede decir there is o there are en medio por ejemplo next to my company there is a bank o puede decir there is a bank next to my company entonces usted puede usar las dos maneras ¿verdad? Para poder hacer la descripción. Bueno, you work in a bank. Así que, o sea, a menos que haya otro banco, a la par de su banco. Así que, you know. All right. We can, we can continue, guys. Teacher. Yes, how can I help you? ¿Cómo, cómo se escribe CD en inglés? Eh, CD. CD. Como de, de lugar, eh, CD de lugar. Sí, CD de arena, o CD de, o sea, una eh, casa de eso, partidaria. Mm. Podría ser como un location. Location puede ser. Ya, yeah, como puede ser como una ubicación, sede de un lugar, como. Como un establishment. Puede poner location. Ok. All right. También puede ser como campus. Eh, también le pueden llamar campus. Eh, también es como headquarters. Um, así. Eh, head, headquarters. También son como sinónimos de sedes. 
como oficina central, headquarters, campus. Cualquiera de las tres entonces. Yeah, it could be. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we actually are thinking about this, you know, vocabulary, these expressions are very useful. And you're gonna ver que ustedes más adelante further after you work at this, ya más adelante en el siguiente módulo, ya no va a haber necesidad de que ustedes tengan que escribir eh, cada, eh, qué es lo que van a decir, cómo se formula la oración, sino que ya se convierte eh, in instantaneous, right? So you think and you say it in English because you can formulate. I know this is a process and I'm pretty sure that you are going in the right way to get it. Eh, ya después usted ya se vuelve automático, ya no tiene necesidad de pensar cómo puedo decir yo que hay tal cosa en la esquina and you think about it. Ya es, es automático en el inglés. Entonces, a medida que vamos adquiriendo, we get more vocabulary, more expressions, more grammar structures, it's easier to think in English. And we just like go with that and you feel comfortable with the vocabulary. Entonces, es algo bien sencillo. La verdad es que ya van a ver, ya se van a dar cuenta de que ya lo demás va siendo un poquito más fácil. Como yo les decía a los estudiantes, hay que tener paciencia. We have to be patient. Why? Because the most difficult part is the beginning. Lo que más cuesta es el inicio. Ya después, todo se vuelve más fácil. It's very, very simple. Teacher, uh, aduana, yes. hello, aduana, donde llevan carros, como se dice, uh, ad, uh, aduana, yes, so actually you got a name, uh, here in the country that are like, like customs, people call them customs, mm -hmm. quiero ver si lo puedo borrar acá, eh, acá, Eh, eh, I will write it. So it's like this. People call them eh, customs. Customs like this. Okay. That is what, that's what we call aduana. Customs. Yeah, you're welcome.
teacher, cine es cine en inglés. You can say cinema, you can say cinema o movies. Eh, cinema or movies. Teacher, yes. Uh, how do you say say um, cuadra? Excuse me. Para decir este a una cuadra se encuentra este una cancha de fútbol. Uh, you can say block, for example. You can block. say block. Yes. Okay, thank you. Como yeah. it's like an square. It's like a manzana, una manzana, una cuadra, so it's a block. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, somebody that would like to share, I don't know, some ideas. Uh, or would like to read your statements to make sure that they are okay and would like to share uh, the sentences that you have um, you have written you can tell me si tienen preguntas o quisieran compartir me pueden decir y pues eh, lo comparten y los escuchamos Okay, no questions for the moment. Okay, um, I would like to ask you too if somebody has finished, uh, just to check the time. No sé si alguien ya terminó o todavía no. That is a no, right? Nadie ha terminado aún entonces. Ok. Ok, we have. Ok, eh, Trinidad finished. All right. Finish teacher. Okay. Finish. Ok, great. Thank you. We have three, four students. Ok, four students have finished. Finish teacher. Ok, five. Ok, thanks. Finish to teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, nos vamos a ir a los breakup rooms and you will have the opportunity to share the five statements with your partners. We're going to make small groups 
and we're gonna have like more members in the groups and you will have the opportunity to share the statements and also share in practice because that's good, right? To practice, study vocabulary, that's gonna be like a very important part. Así que vamos a iniciar, así que vamos con los breakup rooms because everybody finished and ya todos hemos terminado and that is actually great. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are 17 right now. Let me see. Okay, we're gonna make four groups. We're gonna make four groups right now. So we'll have like more time to share. Uh, actually, let me tell you the guys that it's, it's going to be like, I think it's going to rain here because it's a little windy. People listen, people, people say that. Okay, vamos a formar grupos de cuatro. We're gonna make for a members. By any chance, it is raining where you live? Is it raining where you live? ¿Está lloviendo donde ustedes viven? Yes. Sure. No. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, vamos a los breakup rooms y compartimos nuestras oraciones con los compañeros. All right? Let's go. Oscar, José Ángel, José Ángel. Teacher. Hola. Sí, diga, teacher. Eh, Hola, por ahí teacher. le mandé la invitación para que se una al grupo. Pero no, no me aparece, fíjese. Ese. Estoy ah. aquí esperando y no, no aparece. Solamente dice... Vale. Break. Ok, entonces... Bueno, se actualiza inmediato, pero bueno, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a mandarlo a, a, al grupo 4 y lo voy a regresar nuevamente. Entonces va, va a ser como doble por, para que esté cabal. Vamos a ver, entonces lo muevo okay. al 4 y usted tiene que estar en el grupo 3, acuérdese, grupo 3. En el grupo 3, ok. Yes, yes, Ahorita yes. estamos en el grupo 4, con 4. Vale, entonces acéptelo y luego lo paso al grupo 3. Entonces estamos. Eh, number one, my workplace is next to a mechanical workshop. My workplace is in front of a gas station. Eh, my workplace is on the carretera como Lapa. Uh, my workplace is next to a community. Uh, my workplace is between the Paso del Jaguar and the Navarra. Oscar. Oscar. Hola, eso los cuatro hice. 
My workplace, there are between a rent of machines and a workshop. There is a ranch in front. There is a gas station below. There is an aduana next to a recollection place of garbage. Solamente. Okay. Supermarket, van, churches. Okay. There is a, a satellite antenna on the roof on my world. There. There are many trees behind my workplace. Alina? Reference point, I say residence of Las Palmas. Okay. There are between set of the spark part. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what is the word? What, what is the, the place? There is a what? There are? Huh? Between. But the, I, uh, there are between. Cell. Of there. Mm. Part. Con qué cell? Como, bueno. Como, o sea, there are, pero. No. Okay, entonces there is. Uh, there is. Uh, lo que pasa es como son varias Ajá. De, there are between hay entre así o sea eh, the company in my job are in between o sea está en medio de, de ventas de repuestos el edificio ok, all right, ok Diría eh, yo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok. Eh, on the world, on my world, there is a company logo. My workplace is between residential San Rafael and Metropolis San Gabriel. Ok. Karina. I do for... Uh, <laughs> repeat the number one, please. <laughs> I will repeat. Bye. ¿Qué más? Que no sería la entrada principal. Solamente eso sería. Porque lo, yo había inventado uno donde decía, my company, eh, or there is company is a 200 meter from the red on the integration. Yo he inventado, lo había hecho así. Si <coughs> Porque, lo he inventado, entonces dele. Eh, para poner algo por lo menos, vea. <laughs> cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Si quiere, nosotros las repetimos de... y luego usted se queda de último. Si usted ah, quiere. Bien, no hay... Ajá, para que escuche bien, no y problema. luego usted se inventa más. Claro. <risa> ok, bye. Claro, claro, Sería, no hay problema. Around the bank, there are much stores. Much to the stores. left of the bank, there is a hotel. Next to the bank, there is a parking. The bank is in front of roundabout. There is a cinema next to the bank. Voy yo. My company is in front of a clinic. My work is, como dijeron que se decía behind, behind, ¿verdad? Behind. 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 My work is behind. Guy, a church. 
Me a shoe is next to a gym. There is a shoe in the right corner of my work. Mi job is in front of a meeting house. Uh, so you say my job, my, my job. My job? Mi trabajo, my, my workplace. O puede decir my workplace or my job, okay? All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Nancy? I see. Um, there is a front of the company is a school. There is the company a teacher, how do you say cancha? Perdón. Eh, cancha sede, es... sede, sede como de nuevas ideas. Campus, campus. Campus. Campus, nuevas ideas. There, there I there I are from of a story the company. Uh, there the is a store. There is a store in in front of the company. The company there is a blood soccer field. The company there is a behalf supermarket. The, the, the company is behind the supermarket, right? Sí, yes. Okay, thank you. Jose. <clears throat> El mismo grupo, uno nuevo, Ajá. Uh -huh. pero tendríamos que, que esperar nada más en el transcurso de la semana estarían este, notificándolo. Sí. Hello, finish, finish everybody, finish, teacher. finish teacher, excellent. Well, I'm sorry because of the noise. I don't know there's noise because it's raining hard. It's raining a lot here. Yes, Sounds the noise. Uh, the noise is like sometimes yes, over there. It started to rain too, and is the noise too the to the communicator? It, and I don't. I can hear it clear. It's the is this interference. Yes. Correct. Yeah, there Correct. is an interference because of the rain. Yeah, that happens. Ok, eh, we're going to go back to our breakout room. Vamos a regresar ya de los breakout rooms. Eh, creo que solamente hay like two participations and then we go back. Ya no se lo escuchó, teacher. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí, sí. Ok, yes. Yes, yes. I... Repeat, please. <laughs> Yeah, así que eh, bueno, ya el próximo, bueno, todavía no les, no les han mandado la información para el, su próximo nivel, yo creo que se los mandan. Sí, me imagino que en el transcurso de, de, de la semana, ¿verdad? Yes, you receive this information del nuevo módulo y todo los, lo que van a necesitar. Yeah, ok. Solo estaríamos a la espera de ello, entonces, para tenemos una semana para recargar pilas y empezar de nuevo. Exactamente, ¿verdad? exactamente. Iniciarían que la, la próxima semana. Sí, tentativamente eh, está el lunes, lunes 14, si, si mal no me recuerdo. Eh, decía el último correo que recibí que el lunes 14 se iniciaría el segundo módulo. Por ende, solo tendríamos otra semana para, para medio recargar pila, ¿verdad? Excelente. Yeah, is it. Bien, vamos a regresar. We're going to go back. De acuerdo, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, uh, well, congratulations to all of you guys because you could work in activity describing and every part about this, this you know, these statements. I could listen, uh, good descriptions, and also um, it's important that you ask questions during the class because when there is something that maybe we don't understand, we had the freedom to say, teacher, no entiendo cómo se dice esta palabra, cómo formula esta palabra. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Ustedes tienen toda la libertad de hacerlo, ¿verdad? No tengan miedo, no se preocupen. I'm just here for helping you. Entonces, hay, hay algunos que, por ejemplo, no me consultan cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Desde ahora les digo, pues, de que, pues, eh, hagan preguntas. No se preocupen por eso. Así que, eh, well, that is actually one of the goals we have, right? So, congratulations, because you could socialize eh, this valuable information for the class. <coughs> Vamos con la siguiente. We go with the next activity right now. Just give me one second. Vamos con la siguiente, que es vocabulary. It says vocabulary practice. Look at this. Create a map of your workplace and describe which places are around it. Show it to a partner and explain where it is located using adjectives, prepositions of place, and there is in there are. Vamos a hacer algo similar al, al anterior, a diferencia que hoy vamos a ser más específicos. Usted va a crear un mapa, va a ser un mapa como el que vimos en la clase antepasada. ¿Se recuerdan que vimos un mapa? Y describíamos que estaba una calle que se llamaba Barrios sí. Street y otra que se llamaba Rose, Roosevelt Street and Avenue. Entonces usted va a imaginar en este cuadro lo va a hacer en su cuaderno, va a crear un mapa eh, from the place where you work and you will create it if you can draw it, si lo puede colorear pues también lo puede hacer and also you will describe in, about this place where you work, you're going to use your imagination to work in this activity so this is gonna, it's going to be one of the goals my god All right. do you listen to me guys? Oh, yeah. 